In this video, I'm going to look at a Monte Carlo stock market simulator and we're going to use the model to look at retiring and the probability of not running out of money in retirement given your planned spending choices. So in this example here, we've got someone with half a million pounds, age is 56, they want to spend £25,000 initially in retirement, drop down to 15000 when the state pension kicks in, then 12500 and it's generating these results here where if they were all in equity, they've got an 88% chance of success. If they're in bonds, they'd go bankrupt. If they were in 50% equities, they've got a chance of success of 90%. Now let's look at the workings of the model in a bit more detail. We're going to start with the top left corner. We've got a portfolio that consists of equities and a minimum risk asset. For equities, we input the annual return in this shaded cell. I've selected 8%. We input inflation at 3% and then we input the standard deviation, which is the variation of the returns over time at 15%. So to get these numbers, you can just go to the web and look up what returns have been. So here's an example of the S&P 500 standard deviation over 10 years of 15.25. So that equates quite well with our model. And for our minimum risk asset, we've got a return after inflation of 0.5% and a standard deviation of 0%, which is probably quite generous. So an example of a minimum risk asset would be something like iShares GBP Ultra Short Bond Ticket ERNS. This has a dividend yield of around about 5% at the moment, 4.5%. And it has volatility, well it's actually been a bit distorted recently, um, but around about 0.5. So we could kind of alternatively use that in our model. Next, we model our current age, current value of our portfolio, what we're going to contribute to our savings while we're working, the age at which we're going to retire, how much we're going to spend in the first phase of our retirement before any tax, so it's the gross amount, then it might drop down when we receive the state pension and it might drop down even further in very old age. And then that will produce this data chart for us, chance of success here of 88%. To calculate the numbers you might spend in retirement, you can use a retirement calculator such as the one that you can purchase from my website ianshadrach.com. And then over here we've got the randomized return for equities that we're generating and then the minimum return in any year was minus 34% in this example, maximum return 41%. So that's achieved by having um, a kind of a base of 8% and then a variation around it at the 15%. So this is going to be like slightly over two standard deviations away from the expected return. The model runs for 30 years after the date at which you retire and because we're using random numbers, whenever I change things in the model, you'll get different numbers here. But this is then used as the base to generate our data table. So down here, we've got the data table where we've got the volatility of equities and then the mix between bonds and equity. We input those and then it just generates a data table and we've got a thousand scenarios that we're using. Of those scenarios, we're then calculating the mean, which is just a raw average and that will include the outliers. So it'll include the maximum value where we go up to over 25 million pounds and then the minimum value as well be included in the mean and there will have a loss of 1 million. We've also got what's happening in the worst 5% of cases and what happens for the best 20% of cases. And then over here, we've got 
total cases are a thousand we go up in increments of two hundred thousand pounds and we can see that we fail in 76 instances so then we've got this data here for how the numbers are moving according to the increments so we've got 254 cases where we end up with between nothing and 200k up to 54 cases where we end up with over a million pounds so you could actually plot a distribution graph of those results the one thing we could do is look at trade-offs between the return and the standard deviation by having a different mix of equities in our portfolio and to get some data on this we could go to the backtesting website curvo.eu so here's Ray Dalio's all-weather portfolio here are the ETFs that you can use to construct that portfolio and then here we've got a growth rate of 7% and a standard deviation of 9.28% if you want to get stock market returns you can go to websites like this one from NYU it's got the S&P 500 including dividends going back to 1928 and then it's also got the returns adjusted for inflation these real returns although they are all in US dollar terms and not in GBP terms and there's some quite interesting numbers in here for example you've got gold when you couldn't really trade it and the price is being fixed and then when it came off the gold standard the price of gold absolutely shot up so now we look at the data table chance of success 89 percent maximum possible achieving is 24.2 million minimum minus 1.2 we've got a sharp ratio of 0.3 so now let's change the numbers to something similar to the ray dalio model so we do about 6.5 on the annual return after like platform costs standard deviation about nine so sharp ratio hasn't really improved that much and the chance of success has now gone up to 92 percent but the variation of results has has narrowed quite a lot we've got 3.9 percent maximum case and minus 0.2 million in the minimum case so if you're more risk averse then maybe something with lower returns but then also lower volatility might be of benefit to you so the model can produce greatly varying returns and it's all down to the sequence of those returns and specifically whether you get negative results in the early years when the model is most susceptible to fluctuations in value so that's known as the sequence of returns risk where if you have good returns in the first few years after you retire this can carry you through market drawdowns later on to get hold of the spreadsheet it's free to all purchasers of my retirement calculator and if you haven't purchased the retirement calculator check in the description of the video as to how you can get hold of the spreadsheet